In this video, I want to go over the valid parentheses problem on Code Wars. And what I want you to do is to write a function that takes a string of parentheses and determines if the order of parentheses is valid. The function should return true if the string is valid and false if it is not. Now let's look at some of the examples it gives us. A valid string of parentheses is a string that for every opening parenthesis, there is a corresponding closing parenthesis. Now if we look at this one, it starts out with a closing parenthesis. By default, we must return false, and the reason being is for every closing parenthesis, there must be a corresponding opening parenthesis that occurs prior to it. Otherwise, it's not a valid parenthesis with opening and closing parentheses, if that makes sense. If there is a string with just one parenthesis, whether it be opening or closing, it is false because it is not, uh, doesn't have its corresponding opening or closing parenthesis. And this is a, an example of a valid opening and uh, opening parentheses because for every opening parenthesis, there is a corresponding closing one. Now, there are some constraints we have to take note of. Jumbled in with our, in our string of parentheses, there will be some ASCII characters, and some of these um, strings will also be empty, meaning there won't be any ASCII characters or parentheses at all. Now, the way we're going to solve this is with a stack, and prior to coding this out, I want to visualize the logic of the code for you on this website. The way we're going to do it is we're going to iterate throughout our string that it gives us. Every time we encounter an opening curly, an opening parenthesis, like, sorry, like so, what we're going to do is we're going to push it to our stack. As you can see, we have just pushed that element to our stack. If we encounter another one, we're going to push it to our stack. However, when we encounter a closing curly or a closing parenthesis, what we do is we pop the last element we appended to our stack. If you've noticed, the only element we will be appending or popping from our stack is opening uh, parentheses. But the only time we pop or remove the last element from our stack is when we encounter closing parentheses. So if we encounter another closing one and we pop it, we will have an empty stack. If at the end of iterating throughout our entire list, our entire parentheses string, our stack is empty, that means that for every opening parenthesis, there is a corresponding closing parenthesis, and this string was valid. Therefore, we will return true. So let's get back to coding. Let's get back to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to first create our stack, and we're going to set equal to zero, or an empty list. We're going to use a list for the stack. Next, we need to iterate throughout our string. So for i in string, what we're going to do is we're first going to check for those ASCII characters that are jumbled in with our um, lit or string of parentheses. So if i dot is alpha, we're going to continue. What this does is for every element i in our string, we're going to check to see if it is a letter of the alphabet. That's what this function does right here. If that is the case, what we do is we continue. Continue stops going through the flow of our program like so, and it just goes to the next iteration in our string. And that's what we'll do. So we only are going to perform the logic on our string if it is a opening or closing parenthesis. Next, we need to check to see if i is equal to a... Okay, so if i is an opening parenthesis, what we're going to do is we're going to append that to our stack like I showed you on the visualizer. So stack.append i, and then we're going to continue. I will explain why we do this in a second. After we've typed a few more lines, it will make sense. Next, we need to check to see if the length of the stack is zero. So if the length of stack is equal to zero, what we do is we're going to return false. And then we're going to st say stack.pop. Now let's explain this. What we're going to do is for every element in I, we're going to check to see if it is a letter of the alphabet. If it is so, we're going to go to the next element in our string. If it is an opening, uh, parenthesis, 
what we're going to do is just like on the visualizer, we're going to append it to our stack. And then we're going to go to the next iteration of our string. If it is not an opening parenthesis and it's not as a letter of the alphabet, that means it must be a closing parenthesis. And if it is a closing parenthesis and the length of the stack is zero, that means we've encountered a situation like this where we have reached a closing parenthesis without a corresponding opening parenthesis before it, and we must return false. Now, if it is a closing parenthesis and the length of the stack is not zero, that means that we're going to pop the last opening parenthesis that we have appended to our stack. And that is exactly what I showed you on the uh, stack visualizer. From here, we're done. Once we've iterated throughout the entire string and we've appended all the opening parentheses and popped off the opening parentheses when we've encountered closing ones, we're going to check to see if the length of the stack is zero. If it is, that means this was a valid string of parentheses and will return true. However, if it is not equal to zero, we're going to return false. So we're just going to say return true if and only if the length of the stack is equal to zero. Sorry about that, messed it up. Length of the stack is equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, we're going to return false. So let's uh, attempt this and see if I got it correct this time. So five passed, and we'll attempt it. All 51 test cases passed. So that is the valid parentheses problem on Code Wars. I hope that you found this video valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.